1 Corinthians 9 from verse 24 to 26. The Bible says, You know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. So it simply means in the journey of life, not every destiny should be fulfilled. Do we understand that? Everyone will come through the school environment, but not everyone will graduate with a good grade. Everyone will get into marriage, but not everyone will have a successful marriage. Everyone will start a business, but not everyone's business will last long. Why? The Bible says that an every man that striveth for mastery simply put, there is a protocol to destiny. When it has to do with the matters of destiny, there are ways you go about it. Do we understand that? If a man strive for mastery, that man is temperate in all things. Every part of his life has certain levels of organization. Are we following? He doesn't live his life by chance. Be it his financial life, his career, his academic, spiritual relationship. Everything is strategically organized towards the pursuit of his destiny. The Bible says, now they do these things to obtain a corruptible crown. But we an incorruptible crown. Next verse. I therefore so run. This is Paul speaking. Not as uncertainly. I don't run like one without something in the front of me that I'm pursuing after. I didn't come to FUT because I was given admission. There was something at the back of my mind. There is a destiny in front of me. And part of the process I must go through is that maybe peradventure I need to obtain this degree. If I understand that it doesn't end in the degree, it is a means to an end. Then there is a way I approach what I came here for. He said that I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth. I don't go through life like I don't know what I'm pursuing, like I don't know what I'm doing. But I keep under my body and bring it unto subjection. Lest that by any means when I've preached to others, I myself may be a castaway. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Lamentations 3.27 And speak in the place of sacrifice in betting destiny. The place of it is good for a man that he bear the yoke in his youth so it simply means one of the things you cannot escape from life are seasons of yoke seasons of burdens seasons of pressure seasons of disciplines seasons of pain but the bible is giving us an admonition that it is good it is better that a man goes through those seasons of his life in where his youthful age sacrifice in betting destiny what is sacrifice sacrifice is the ability to lay down and delay gratification for the excellency of your future sacrifice is the ability to lay down and delay gratification for the excellency of your future sacrifice during the pain of today in order to meet up with the demands and requirements of destiny sacrifices is enduring the pains of today in order to meet up with the demands and requirements of destiny sacrifice is painful but is inescapable sacrifice is costly but is it is inescapable no great life can, can amount to anything without elements of what sacrifice no man can make maximal impact on this earth without elements of sacrifice no man can climb the citadel of success without elements of what sacrifice and the easier or the easiest time to pay the sacrifice of destiny is number one when you are young and number two when you are single have you not found out that the best time to circumcise a young male child is when he's just young? The best time to pierce the ears of a young lady is when they just give birth to her. 
it's easy to endure pain at that seasons of life do we understand that are we together the consecration of destiny is what we call sacrifice what distinguished men in life is the levels of sacrifice they've put into their life and destiny what distinguishes men in life what separates men into categories of life we can all end as schoolmates as cosmate but we will not end up as life mates we can graduate as cosmates as classmates but we will not end up as what life mate because life has a way of separating men into different what categories by the levels of sacrifices they've put into the demands and requirements of their life and destiny greatness is not cheap success is costly it will cost you you can't live life like paul say you can't live life with uncertainty as if nothing you are pursuing you can't live life favor favors the prepared mind you can't live life to chance you must live life with the consciousness of your dreams the consciousness of your aspirations the consciousness of what is in front of you that you want to achieve or attain destiny number one listen the problem with humans especially africans is that we easily get comfortable with situations you are struggling financially with your life instead of you to look at what are the things i need to do to get out of this financial struggle we get you know we call it in africa the crab mentality you know when you put a crab in cold water, it adjusts to the temperature of that water when you put the same crab in hot water it still adjusts to the temperature of that water so when we say you have a crab mentality it simply means you 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 agree to anything that surrounds your life whether it is good whether it is bad whether it is ugly you just accept it around your life you are okay with it we are composed like that carry dollars to five thousand naira, an average nigerian will still survive we are created with a crab mentality do we understand that and that's why it is difficult to see many rise up to greatness especially in africa because we easily get accustomed to certain levels of situations and pain number one the sacrifice of focus matthew chapter 6 and verse 22 the bible says if thy eyes be single then your whole body will be full of light what is focus follow one course on the success you become a slave of your vision you become splendid and spent for destiny the sacrifice of focus you starve your distractions and know what is in front of you first kings and chapter 20 the king kept a young man and said hold this slave this young man being captured in battle if he escape it is for your life and after a few minutes he came he said where's the man i gave you to keep he said i was neither here or there and the man escaped nothing hampers the destinies of men like unnecessary distractions it's because of lack of focus that you don't even know when you arrive for a relationship you have not achieved anything seven days you can't eat because of a man you are stupid an undergraduate without a degree the only thing you still have is your SSE and you can't eat a man that will still dump you because you are, you are just on the protocol to becoming a liability of life because there is no focus in the front see when you put focus towards testing and achieve your dream the thing you want to pursue will pursue you naturally everyone likes to identify with success are we together everyone likes to identify with greatness instead of you pursuing after things pursuing after people carry yourself to levels of greatness and see the way people will beg all the way just to be a part of your life and a part of your success story the sacrifice of focus jesus went about his vision at the age of 12. he knew the pursuit even when it, it, they, they came to meet him in the temple and the mother was saying ah we, we've been looking for you for this what was his reply i must go about the reason i was born how comes you have looked at your life and know that you can never be a professional footballer yet all your life is on that pitch 
something is wrong with you you check my phone the only thing you see there are messages are books you check my laptop messages and books how would you say you want to be a doctor you have just one book in medicine and 50 movies you want to be gently focus focus disciplines your energy disciplines your passion and make sure you put much of it in the direction of your vision in life there are things i cannot it doesn't it's not that they are bad in themselves but it is not necessary for my advancement in life you sit down three hours ten hours in a day arguing Messi and ronaldo which one is a cow champion of the world and which one is a good greatest of all time and those men are having money cough into the account ah, ah, in seconds and the only achievement you have in your life is a girlfriend that is giving you headache and SSE young people wake up there is more to life and destiny than these frivolities of life just become great and successful you understand this principle that success is a magnet it pulls anything towards your direction even your haters we have no option but to bow themselves before you just to acknowledge that you are you are an achiever in life do we understand that what you surround yourself with reveals your focus how relevant are your daily activities to your vision dreams and aspiration the major things you do each day is it in commensurate to what you are pursuing in life how will I sit with Facebook? I don't even know what it looks like. I'm not on any platform. Then you chat me, somebody will reply. But you won't see me directly saying anything to you. I don't know what those platforms are over 10 years. Say, maybe I'm on Facebook chatting, Instagram. I pay people to manage it. Are we together? Because I don't want those distractions for my life. As broke as you are, you are on Pinterest looking for clothes that you are saving in wardrobe. As broke as you are. So the first thing you are not, it shouldn't be your financial life you should be trying to adjust. You are saving clothes. That when I, by that time, all those ones, I didn't know what model. Something is wrong with you. The way we pursue life as, as young people is a problem. When I came into this system and came into this campus, I knew what I was looking for. The first day I stepped here, I told myself, I want I can repeat man, um, masters twice, PhD twice, but it is difficult to see a man who repeats the undergraduate twice. It's five years. So it simply means nothing about this environment is permanent. I'd rather go through the pains and pressure for these five years, but get what I'm looking for. Most of the times you see me sleeping two hours a day. You can't sleep like you are competing in the congregation of dead people. I want to be awake in glory in life. Are we following? The sacrifice of focus. Starve your distraction. Know what should not be around your life. Know what you cannot give an attention to. How will you enter into the campus at 100 level? You're already pursuing relationship. And you know yourself. You are first looking to be matured. Because this morning you will cry. Some of you might after this meeting go and break up. If it's what it, destiny, see, listen to me. Destiny fulfillment is more important than emotional tie. Understand it that if that destiny does not come to materialization, that emotional will still tie out. Who wants to hang around the liability? Who wants to hang around the non entity? Let the gate let it tell you are the best in the world. Is this it? How many places have she gone to? Someone that came from Sokoto told you you are the best in the world, and you believed. Are you not a fool? The only place she has gone to is Sokoto. I said, I've never met a woman in my life like you. Some of them, after the house, IJK, that's the only place they know. And you are impressed. You are not yourself again. You went home, you are blushing, you can't eat. Put your hand on your head and say, Oh God, oh God. baptize me with sense. Oh Give my life wisdom. Give my life. The sacrifices of focus the sacrifices make sure every day you wake up you check that every activity you do each day are more connected to your dreams your aspiration do you know even at certain point in time of my life when i need to say let me watch a movie 
I try to tell them, give me a movie that I into detective. I want to see technology there. It should be relative to what concerns my passion. All your own is Nollywood. Emeka Ika and Genevieve. Now, in real life, now you have found out that that's not how it works. You thought two of you will go behind the tree. She will stay in this corner. You stay in this corner. You now be singing song. Under this seat. Reality has done on you now. You are, every day you are crying. They did not tell me this. It is, oh. They did not tell me this. It is, oh. You don't know the difference between film and real life. Tell your neighbor, may God help me. Say it like you mean it. May God help me. And you see this system of lack of focus has affected even the African system. Even our educational system. You see a young man. I was reading the story of Cristiano Ronaldo. How the effort he put so much in training every day. One time I sent it to the group. Hours. Nine to ten hours daily. Training. That you come visit him at home. You will see you there. Ah, let's go. Let's do some little thing. Listen. The day you believe that everything about life is luck. You have just engaged on your journey to, to poverty. You see them understanding the dreams of a young child at a young age and they begin to push that child towards that direction. Yeah? You are in school of agri. You are doing mechanical engineering course. That's the, the, even the African system brings distractions into people's life. The educational system carrying courses that are irrelevant to your destiny. Irrelevant to what you are doing. Courses you will never use no matter how they encourage you about it. They say they call it borrowed borrowed cause. That's why we all have borrowed lives. Elective. And then even the main one you are supposed to do, you won't do it. I remember the story of a Nigerian lecturer who was being informed, he was on a flight and he was being informed that sir, we want to just congratulate you and make you understand that this flight is being flown by one of your students for the first time. And the man began to laugh and smile. He laughed and they were confused. They said, sir, you look so happy. He said, you understand. They said, why are you laughing? He said, I'm laughing because I know the flight will not move. We know it will teach them. Number two, the sacrifices of delayed gratification. The sacrifice. What is delayed gratification? The de delayed gratification simply means you put work before imp be you put work before pleasure. Delayed gratification is sacrificing immediate for the ultimate. Delayed gratification is sacrificing the immediate for the ultimate. Delayed gratification is sacrificing a short-term appetite for a long-term gain. Delayed gratification is sacrificing what a short-term appetite. For a long and this is the undoing of many African youths we don't master the art of delayed gratification we just want everything now sharp sharp micro generation are we together you want to do well in finances you have never read any financial book all your monthly target is a new bag you want to buy nothing as regards the development of yourself and your life you don't know that there is a way your life will look like it will make even a fine bath ugly see what beautifies a man is not because he has good beard set up it's money money is the best beauty cream i can see so nothing smells like perfume nothing smells better like other perfume like success when when you see a successful man people make excuses for him i just like this type of people type of nose even if the nose is so big is that not so? Even if the nose is so big, everybody wants to like that type of what? Nose. Because it smells very nice. The sacrifices of what? Delayed gratification. Don't become a slave of the moment. Be ready to pay the price. Pay the price. Now you can sit under me and I'm speaking getting blessed yes when my friends were jumping from one party to another eating everything they can eat i begin to invest in books invest in knowledge if you know what men don't know they will give you audience to know it 
if you know what men don't know, they will give you audience to what? To know it. Pay the price. Delayed gratification. Don't wear tomorrow's clothes today. You'll be naked tomorrow. Don't buy the spirits of this end of age. Your target is there as a young person. You wake up should be destiny, not the new latest clothes. I just saw this time. Me too, I must have. I just saw this through you. Me too, I must have. That's not life. Those are frivolities of life. Make impact and see how you will never use your money to buy some things again in life. What we buy it for you is the achievements of your Are we together? I don't know when I buy clothes, <laughs> shoes, last. I don't. What we buy it for you will be the achievement of your life. Number three. The sacrifice of growth and personal development. We grow in stages we learn in phases. The sacrifice of growth. You want to be a doctor, you don't fly up to medical school. You start from what? Kindergarten, nursery, right? Primary, secondary, you gain admission to university and from like that. You must ensure that you monitor your life to see that you are better than what you were each day. No matter how current you are, you are becoming obsolete by the day. Upgrade yourself. And if you are not doing, someone somewhere is doing so. And when one day you people will meet on the same table of competition, that person will beat you. One day you two will so submit the same CV and they will pick that person as against you. Are we, to, are we together? The sacrifice of what God. I've never seen this kind of disability, especially apart from young men. Young women, you look at the person you know 2023, 20, the same thing, nothing has improved, nothing has changed. You talk the same way, you dress the same way, you think the same way, you reason the same way, even in 2024. 20, the late in changing are your clothes and shoes. You are wasting. Tell your neighbor, don't waste your destiny. Ensure you are becoming better. Sometimes each day, no matter how busy I am, I must carry a book and read. That something new must just enter my head. That's what keeps us long ago. I'm telling you that you are improving on. Have you found out that beds, pigeons, though they don't live long? You know why? There is no improvement. The way they've been making their cage before independence, that's how they are still making their cage today. Improve yourself, get better on a daily basis. Get better. Whether you are called into even pastoral work, it's not a room for laziness. Grow in your prayer life. If you pray three hours, make sure you're trying to see how you can increase that. Don't stay at a spot forever. Do we understand that? Learn every day. Reinvent yourself. Improve your speech. Improve your destiny. Improve the way you address, the way you relate with people. Get better. Ensure that you are what? Growing. What you are looking for is also looking for you but not this version of you do you understand that what you are looking for is also looking for you but not this version of you the more you grow you begin to find out that certain kind of things naturally begin to come into your life certain levels of opening begin to come for you by itself number four the sacrifice for knowledge Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. He said, my people perish not because of the lack of anointing but because of the lack of what? Knowledge. Your vision cannot be bigger than the amount of information you have. Are we together? Pay the price for knowledge. Don't live life like you don't know anything. And it will cost you. It will cost you your time. It will cost you your energy. It will cost you commitment, patience, humility. It will cost you everything to get knowledge. Isaiah 55 from verse 1. He said, why spend money on things that perish it? Come to me and buy. Buy from me. Are we following? Number five. Listen. If you rush out without the requisite knowledge of life, when you get to your seasons of manifestation and promotion, what you will receive will be premium disgrace. Because it will expose to the world that you have not gotten the knowledge that you need to climb that height. Are we together? 
number five the sacrifice of discipline first corinthians 9 24 to 27 we read the few is for the man who says that we wake up by five and pray and he wakes up every man that i have studied that attained the level of greatness and success we are men of extreme levels of discipline they, they wanted they knew the sacrifice and the price they needed to pay and they were willing to pay it do we understand that they were willing to pay it go across anybody even a first class student you will see some levels of sacrifices that you yourself know you are not paying you know the problem with africa is that we don't like to be truthful to ourselves we want to do everything like everybody and think we'll have a different result it doesn't work that way that's why when people come to me and say Sir, i want to be excellent i tell them one thing if i lay my hands on you and transfer that grace the first thing that will happen to you is that you will read crazily You will see the way you started it, you, you understand yourself. So it doesn't come to support laziness. Do we understand that? The proof of indiscipline is a life full of excuses. The proof of the, why didn't you wake up? You know, the heat is much. Why didn't you do that? Will there be a time there will not be heat season? Please, will there be a time there will not be heat season? The proof of indiscipline. It's a life full of excuses. Why was this not done? Why couldn't you achieve this? The reason is that the reason is that Bishop David Abioye said, "A man for success until he has stopped looking for who to blame. A man is not ready for greatness until he has stopped looking for who to blame. Understanding that he is solely responsible for the outcome of his life, solely responsible, whatever your life becomes." Is you is all on you the sacrifice of discipline Pro proper time schedule is a proof of discipline you attach your life to daily accomplishment daily accomplishment some of you have called me you see i didn't pick you can you can't control my time you can't you can't just budge into my schedule at your will i want to attend to you every timing of your life i will do this from this to this time i will do this from this to this time i would i wake up every day i open my to-do list what are the things i'm supposed to attend to today let your life be full of daily accomplishment attach it to your time and people will respect your time for it are we somebody cannot just come to what are you and while in a you while while time can you while time even if the clock in your house is not working, does it mean every clock has stopped? The time is going. You don't while away time, you while away your life. Because every time you lost cannot be gotten again. Do we understand? So somebody should not just come into your life and feel like you don't have what to do. It's because of this lack of sacrifices. That's why sometimes you sit down, no agenda, no plan, no, nothing to pursue. Nothing is putting you, putting you under fire to move forward to advance. Do we understand that? Number six. Pray in the Holy Ghost one minute. The sacrifice of diligence. The sacrifice of diligence. Proverbs 28 and verse 19. The Bible says, He that tilleth his ground shall have plenty of bread. But he that followeth after vain persons, people with no future ambition, just wanting to play all the time. Let's just stroll. Let's just go out. He said, You will have poverty enough. He that tilleth his ground, he that tilleth his ground shall have plenty of bread. Proverbs 22 and verse 29. He says, Show me a man diligent and skillful in his business who put all his life, he throws his weight in his assignment, he throws his weight into his vision. When you come around me, you know I am a workaholic. I'm a workaholic. Because the word is spelled hard work. Is that not so? So it simply means you put in the work to avoid the hard. Diligence. At your age, any little 30 minutes work, you are tired. Say, I don't get myself. Hear yourself go. At your age. I was taught in the story of Great Servant of God, Bishop David M. Oye Depot. How that their daily close for work is 1 a.m. Close of work, 1 a.m. daily. Some of you, you think greatness is cheap. You think greatness is cheap. 
you think is cheap. Be willing to throw yourself. Let it break you down. That's part of the sacrifices of life. Let it break. There are times I break down. I know that the stress is absolutely on me. Then I take some time to rest. When I'm done, I go back to my work. Who says you won't break down? No, no. You are expecting that when you, when you are putting effort, something will just be happening to you. You'll be going like that. You will break down. That's why you're a human being. But that's no excuse. The Bible says, show me a man that is diligent and skillful in what he does. He will stand before kings. He will not stand before ordinary men. When I look at the quality of your connections, people around your life, I know your level of diligence. Because by the time you begin to walk so hard into your destiny, you begin to attain levels of success that will change and sift out your relationships. Tell your neighbor I will be diligent. See, listen. Give me Ecclesiastes 10 and verse 18. Laziness is a cancer of destiny. Laziness, lethargy, slothfulness is a cancer of destiny. The Bible says through much slothfulness, a building decays. That's how some of you, your life is wasting away. You won't know how much you can do till you put yourself into it. I didn't know I can pray continuously for seven days. I started struggling with 30 minutes, 10 minutes. I didn't know I can pray continuously for 10 days till I put myself into it. Because one thing about life is that man is configured to get used to anything. Is that not so? Configured to get used. Nobody was born with the spirit of drunkenness. They learned it. Nobody was born with the grace of smoking. They practiced it. Is that not so? Till they gained mastery. Some of them we put three. One to the north, to the south and the east. That's how anything about life is. If you want to do it, you know what it you will get out of it. Because see, if you give what you do, all it entails and requires, it will reveal back to you all it contains. The level of measure you draw out of destiny is the level of measure you've put into it. It is truly garbage in, garbage out. Do we understand that? Through much slothfulness of hand, a building what? Get around, away from people that don't work hard. Get away from people that is all about play. The next thing we watch, let's just sit down and gist for hours. Get away from them. Get away from them. You can ask my story. You can't catch me. While as a student in this campus, I sit down with somebody to talk for one hour. What kind of importance are you to my life? For one hour? We just sit down, we are gisting. Saying what? Do we understand that? Say what? If I don't know what to do with that time, I go to sleep. Because sleep is also an investment. So when I now need that energy, I'll be able to stay awake to read. Are we together? Run away from people that have no regard for destiny. No regard for sacrifices of life. Guy, we have not really understood this. Let's read more. He said, I beg of even I let my people go more, just get and they come out. And those are your friends. You can never attain greatness in life. Wake up. Wake up. Take destiny serious. Take life serious. Stop this joking around. Stop this playing around. Stop playing around distractions. Stop putting so much. Starve your distractions if you want to advance in life. Starve it. If it's phone, switch it off. If you need to buy a a touch life from bite. See, when you understand, Paul said, I don't, I, if I want to gain mastery, there are certain levels of sacrifice I must put where my life just to gain what? Mastery. It's the sacrifice of patience. The sacrifice, look, one I think on verse 19, he said, with patience, preserve your soul. With patience, preserve your soul. The sacrifice of patience. Don't be in a hurry. Don't be in a rush. That's why many people don't want to get into these levels of sacrifice. They are looking for what is sharp, 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 sharp. The easiest way to attract a cost from me is to approach me and tell me, give me 10, it drop 20. It's equivalent to a cost. Because I know that life has not been configured like that. Are we following? Life is not structured to work and operate that way. The sacrifice patience. Give me um, James chapter 5. James chapter 5 and verse 11. 
he said behold we count them happy which do what they endure there are things to endure before you get into things to enjoy if you don't endure the pains of the now you cannot enjoy the gains of tomorrow there are things to endure before you get into seasons of things to what enjoy There is nothing sweet about sacrifice. That is why it is called sacrifice. The Bible says, you have heard of what? The patience of Job. And I've seen the end of the Lord. That the Lord is very pitiful and of tender what? Mercy. You have end, heard of the patience of Job. How God turned this letter end. Don't be under any form of pressure. Go through the right processes of life. Are we together? Go through the right processes of life. Should I shock you? Should I shock you? Do you know I have never used my money to buy a phone in my life? Even when my phone got stolen about three or four years ago, I said, I won't buy. I said, give me a touchlight phone. Let me finish the building project. Till somebody was so embarrassed and they buy phone for me. It's better that way. Be so embarrassed. There are things that matters in life. <laughs> there are things that matters in life that makes you a matter on the earth. If you put attention to those things, things that men are pursuing will begin to pursue after. Sacrifice is not what you do when you feel like. Listen, it is what you feel when you do. Did you understand that? Sacrifice is not what you do when you what? Feel like. It is what you feel when you do. One time, one of my daughters saw me then those early days i fast very very often 70 days the figure and the shape you can now see 70 days 90 days no food and they will still see me preaching and so she was tempted she now told me out of zeal that she wants to go on a three days fasting it was in the second day early morning that they called me from phone that she's cursing jesus there is no swear she did not swear till i die I would never do fast dry fast in my life till I die. <laughs> because she thought that I was not feeling it when I do it. No, it is the gain in front of me that suspends the pain. It is what the gain in front of me that suspends the pain. Should I show you something? Hebrews 11. The Bible says, But see now that we are encompassed by so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and every sin that easily what beset us that's verse one right and let us run this space with um, um, race with what patience verse two looking unto jesus the author and the finisher of what who for the joy that was set there was the cross was painful but he hugged it he said because i know at the end of the day i will be given a name that is above every name that at the mention of that name, every knee will bow. He, the Bible says, because there was something that gave him ability to suspend the pain. It was what? The joy that was set in front of him. What are you seeing? What are you what? Seeing in front of you. No sacrifice. No glory. No sacrifice no star the champion's belt is not bought in the market square it's from fighting the battles and the hurdles of life that makes a man a champion of life you don't get precious stones from the streets of the country you get it by digging deep down beneath the earth going through pain sometimes the land smiles will fall on men just to get those precious substances life is not cheap success is costly greatness is expensive but if you know what you are looking for you'll be willing to pay any price be willing to pay any price any price any price so what is the first sacrifice of life the sacrifice of what focus follow one course unto success pursue it that's how many of you were drifted away from life they say it is crypto. You enter. You were doing crypto. In the midst of crypto, they say it is forest. You have entered. Like that man said, you are now broke by a broker. 
They say it is this one you have entered. If you have maintained that crypto you are doing, you will have met, gotten to a point you are now a god in a system. Because listen, before you enjoy the dividend of the strength of the ox, the bull, right? You must be willing to get the dirtiness of the bull. And you know the bull is not a fun. Have you seen the game of bulls? When you sit on it, it takes over years to get mastery. It's to throw you away. Is that not, have you watched that game? That's how the bull works. Forget the way they entice you with all those things. Some cryptos have been crypted. Some young men have entered village. The game and the sacrifice of focus. Everything you do should surround what you are looking for in life. Should surround your passion. Right now, you need to go to your laptop, remove movies. How will you say you are called as a pastor? You have movies in your phone, in your laptop, more than messages. What thing you won't preach? You know, take a fed man to feed somebody else. But when you say, Lord, I am willing to pay the price, let your grace multiply my efforts, you will see outstanding results. Outstanding, crazy dimensions of that result. Number two is the sacrifice of what? Delayed gratification. Be willing to sacrifice that now. Young man, if it's one trouser you have, iron it well. Wait. The good thing I like about men is that our trousers are multicolored. There is a way you iron a brown trouser, you, you, a black trouser, you get to another color. The brown. Don't make it look like it has faded. It's the new color. It was intentionally created, multi-layered. When you keep going like that, then you enter Maru. You know what I'm talking about. The same thing with your gene. Where it starts from blue, then it goes to light blue, sky, cloud of the glory. Then it turns white. When you tell you say that's that's the style. That's the style. Wait, a time is coming. Men will beg you to receive those things. I went through that same phase of my life. Now men beg me to accept their gift. They beg, sir, please. I just brought this little token for you. See, listen. One thing this generation will never sacrifice is value. They place high premium of value. Once you become so valuable and important to people, they can't joke with you. I'm telling you. So, let your life become so valuable to you are the value. Become so gifted to you, become the gift. Men place high this generation, high premium on value. If they spend 500 dollars for something, they want to see why they are spending it. That's this generation. And number three is what? So leave all those your Pinterest, all those your cupboard, go and delete them. Those wardrobes you have there, leave it. You don't need all those things. Am I saying you should go naked? No. But those things that will suck more of your finances, more of your strength, more of your attention. Clothes, shoe, clothes, shoe, clothes, shoe. You are competing with somebody that don't have sense. That's the truth. You are competing with somebody that don't have sense. Number three. Sacrifice of growth award. You ensure you are getting better. You sit under messages like this. After the service, you collect so many of the messages. Sit down till your sense is sharpened. That you know how to deal well in the affairs of life. There is this story that was told about a man. Two men. One was trying to build a bungalow. And one was trying to build a skyscraper. The one who was building a bungalow, in three days he was done digging his foundation. Between a few hours, he has put the mortar and everything, his blocks is coming out. Then he begins to laugh at the other man still digging. He was laughing at the man. By, that time, by the time the man was bringing out his own foundation out of the ground, they were doing housewarming for the man with bungalow. He laughed. He said, I don't know why people who don't have speed in life, they just delay, delay, delay. Because we are pursuing different things. Don't let anybody put you under pressure. That's my last counsel. Don't, what soon are they pursue for life different to? Don't let anybody put you under pressure. Most of the times, even the people you see put you under pressure, it's not as if they have a better life than you. That's the simple truth. You are following the lady envying her. I just want to dress the way she's dressing. You don't know the pressure a boy is putting on her just to ensure she has that money. He calls her to come to my room, stay on the bed, get ready for me. That's what you are pursuing and envying. You that have your life going for you smoothly. 
And so when the man with the skyscraper kept bringing out his building, the man with the bungalow said, ah, oh boy, what is this guy attempting? Where is he getting to? Suddenly, the guy could no longer look at the house at the same level with ease. What is he now doing? His eyes see it. In the midst of bungalows, a skyscraper is a massive exploit. That's how your destiny can become. I'm teaching you the principles that have brought us and the fathers of faith, men, great men that we've known till date. These are the protocols of life they had to follow through the sacrifices, the pains of the now for the gains of tomorrow. Life is a seed, so it will. Life most of the time stand behind you, watching you as a personality to reward you tomorrow of how you effectively used it today. Did you hear that? Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. Don't be under any pressure. Pay the price. If you need to sleep only two hours a day, it's worth it. Over time, your body will get used to it. You break down, take paracetamol. They made it for human beings. Not good. Take it. Are we together? And move on. Get better. Have you not seen when a man was traveling through the journey of life and angels had to give him food that because the journey is far? So when you break down, take paracetamol, find some small fruits, eat, then continue that the journey is far. They didn't give him food and say, relax. So well done, my good and faithful servant. They gave him food because he should. He needs to what? Continue. I, I pray for you. May the grace for a sacrificial life be released mightily upon you. May God do much more with your life. In the name of Jesus. May this generation be blessed by your impact, by your existence. May your life be full of results. Listen. The end product of sacrifice is results. Men can't see the sacrifice. They only see what? The results. Please be sure that where you direct most of your energy, your pain, your endurance of now is into your passion, your purpose, your gifts. Be sure of it. I wanted to go see a father and I heard of his schedule. His schedule has been booked completely for five years five years men were willing to wait to have a man years ahead then you are just jumping everywhere living life like you don't know what you are doing i declare and i declare that it will not be so for you from today in the name of jesus in your academies you will produce resolve the grace to pay that price that is required for that level of excellence you desire be released upon you and may your sacrifice be crowned with extreme levels of grace in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you.